Thank you. Anything this touches is delicious. Syrup, maybe? Maple syrup? I, I felt like maple syrup was healthier than that. <laughs> I understand why they call this the national dish of Jordan. <laughs> I think that bad was just double checking that Nadam not his long lost son. That was strange. Hey everyone, in the last video we spent the day exploring Amman and getting a nice feel for the city. But today we're gonna switch gears and get a little bit more in depth into the food of Jordan. Yeah. So we have made our way down to downtown Amman. There are lots of really good restaurants really close to one another here. So we are gonna spend the day exploring the cuisine. Yeah. And I'm starving. I don't know about you. Hungry. It's lunchtime. Perfect time to do a food tour. So let's go get some food. Let's go. So we made it into Hesha. It is so busy. We actually got a table. We waited for someone to leave. But we have no idea how to order. I don't know. I think maybe you go up. There's like not a menu. I don't know what we're asking for. This is definitely one of those times where having a guide would be very helpful. Fortunately, we're just soloing it. Thank you. Our table. I actually have no idea. What do you want? Um, can we get maybe some falafel and? What else do you suggestion? Suggest? Recommend? Hummus with meat? Hummus? Yeah. Yes. With meat? Or meat? meat? Yeah. yeah. One hummus with meat, one uh, bokra meat. Uh, yes. One bokra meat. Yes. Yeah. Okay. okay, one egg. One egg. That's perfect. Thank you. All right, that's how you order. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> right. well, I just started off. What do you want to order? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> A lot <laughs> Thank you. So Baba Ganesh, which is like roasted mashed eggplant with spices, sometimes tahini, olive oil, lemon juice. And it's served with veggies. Falafel oh, came, look at this one. Falafel and hummus. And meat. It's uh, like super soft. Ooh. It's crunchy on the outside and soft on the inside. Mm -hmm. Tangy? Surprise. I think it's tangy. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Pretty good. This is my favorite. <laughs> hummus with meat. I think it makes the hummus better, but that's just me personally. That's tasty. The hummus is very, very good. What do you want? And then the, the meat on it is so good. Just copy the order? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. Copy you guys. We Honest, we had no idea. <laughs> He, yeah, exactly. he, he did the same thing to us, saying, asking us what we want. We're like, uh, falafel? Uh, just try this. It's a traditional one. It's very nice. Oh, oh thank yeah. you. Thank you. Welcome. Cool. What is that? Some bread. <laughs> traditional bread. Traditional bread. Oh, that was so kind. A stranger just gave us some traditional bread. <laughs> Mm. Is that one good? I'm excited. Anything this touches <laughs> is delicious. This is like spongy. Look at that. Oh. Way spongy. It's like more chewy. Oh my god, it's good. Thank you. Yeah, so I have 
dollars Canadian? Totally worth it. That was super good. It was so good. All right. Okay, maybe dessert? Next month. That is so neat to be here. Oh my gosh. It's just so different than anywhere we've been. And there are tons of restaurants. Yeah. We don't know exactly know what they're all selling because it's in Arabic. Yeah. Can't quite understand and read it. We'll just wing it. <laughs> Who knows what we're buying? How are you? Good. <laughs> Good. What's your life? <laughs> the love nice. for the camera. They love the camera. They're super love nice the people. Oh, lean. What did we find? Sesame. What the? Like toasted sesame mm. stuck together with sugary goodness. Perfect. Thank you. Oh, wow. He's scared. Oh, no. <laughs> no idea what we just bought. Look at that. Oh, my God. This looks so good. Holy deep fried. <laughs> Is it sweet? No, it's good. It's super sweet. It looks like something you would love. Super sugary. It's like drizzled with something. Grease. <laughs> Happiness. Or sugary. That's dangerous. Oh, wow. I don't know what it is, but I know it's not good for you. And it's sopping wet inside. Just like sugary glaze. Like something. sugar water or something? Mm hmm. Oh wow. You don't need a lot of them? You don't need any you probably could do with half. <laughs> it's like it's like I just drank a little shot of sugar and water, but mostly sugar. Syrup maybe? Maple syrup? I, I felt like maple syrup was healthier than that. Because <laughs> at least it's not deep fried. This? It's very good. <laughs> Jordan. Thank you. The locals were so excited that I was trying it. <laughs> you can have some. <laughs> so much. All right, that's that's our new favorite store right there. I don't know what it's called, but man, that is some good sweets. It gets dark so early here. Yeah. I mean, it is November, but at like 3:30, it feels like the sun is setting, and it's down by like quarter to five. It's so it's so early. It's prompting us to have dinner. Yes. But. We weren't that hungry for a while, but now <laughs> we're starving. Now we're starving. Uh, maybe st starving feels like a stretch. But. <laughs> yeah, these food tour days can be really tough on the stomach sometimes. <laughs> Hard. <laughs> true. Oh, I love watching the little meeting. You see the park? Dishes, so that is where we're gonna have our dinner. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, tabbouleh is a salad, <clears throat> common in the region, and is actually predominantly made of parsley and bulgur. Mmm, lemon juice. I've had this like in Canada before at like kind of like almost like fast food places. Um, not this sour. This is yummy. This is the mansab. This is the national dish of Jordan. And it's a lamb cooked in tangy yogurt sauce. Like, like this. Yes. Like that. Yes. Wow. Perfect. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Man. That was really good lamb. It is so soft and it's so juicy. The sauce, I think, is, is helpful. Like the yogurt sauce. So it keeps it from being like too dry. Kind of gives it a bit more flavor. I understand why we call this the national dish of Jordan. If I had a country, I'd probably make this my national dish too. That is so good. So, because there was no fried lamb ring, we improvised. The waiter suggested we get puff pastry stuffed with rice, meat, and vegetable. Oh, so good. Mm. Oh, it's like 
sitting in this restaurant in Mon Jordan and he just found me because he looked at me and thought hey that guy's Filipino maybe he's my so, kid <laughs> that was strange do you even know me? <laughs> poor guy I sincerely hope he finds a son and it's called Kanufa. It's a, I guess, traditional slash famous slash popular Jordanian dessert. It's cheesy at the bottom and sugary on top. Oh, hot. Wow. That was good. Because, right, it is cheese. It's cheese on the bottom. And then it's just like a pastry on top, which I guess is different depending on the region you're in. Sometimes it looks very like nasty, like noodly. Um, and then oftentimes like pistachios and nuts on top, which is what we have here. And of course, like a syrup. Oh my gosh. It's like you melted mozzarella and dipped it in syrup, maple syrup. We've seen people walking around with these all day. Like they just walk around the street and eat these. Local. Oh, that's so good. We're ending off on a high note with some very sugary, cheesy, delicious dessert. Mm -hmm. This kanufa is oh my God. unreal. It's so good. You want some? So we're going to leave you here. Mm -hmm. We're going to just enjoy this and roam the streets of Amman a little more. And uh, we'll catch you in the next one where we will no longer be in Amman. See you there. Thanks for watching. Oh my god, there's not Meg in there. Oh no! <laughs> nice catch. It is the national dish of Georgia. And actually, Miko's gonna eat it, but it's in front of me. <laughs> Jordan? <laughs> How do I do that? Kind of tastes like just like sh sugar crystals. <laughs> I don't know. Cheese. <laughs> 